Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 3 of physics, super important questions and in this module we have 5 super important questions. Make sure you watch the video till the end, don't miss any of those questions, these are the most repeated and the super important questions. And before starting, please do like and subscribe, it helps me make more videos like this. Without wasting more time, let's get started. The first question is define bit and qubit. Okay, the main topic here is the quantum computing, right? So we need to understand what is a qubit and explain the representation of qubit with block sphere diagram. Okay, this is also a very important thing, the representation in block sphere diagram. So basically what is a bit? A bit is uh, nothing but a basic information in a classical computer stored in the form of binary numbers 0 and 1. Okay, So the 0 and 1 we'll, which we store right that is called as a bit. Qubit is an information in a quantum computer. It is stored in superposition, entanglement and tunneling. These are the properties of uh, that define the qubit. Okay, So it is not a single 0 or 1. It is a combination of 0 and 1. Okay. So the representation of the qubit by the block sphere. So the sphere we will be making it like this. Okay, you have to make it like this. One circle here and another circle here. Okay, let's make it like this. One circle here and another circle here. Okay, and uh, the values here as zero at the top and the one in the bottom. Okay, and uh, the pure state Q space qubit two levels of quantum mechanical can be visualized by using an imaginary sphere called as block sphere. Okay, it has a unit radius. The uh, radius is one. Okay. And the arrow in the sphere represents the state of the qubit. Okay, the north and the south poles are there with the 0 and 1 respectively. Okay, and the superposition is nothing but we will be multiplying a value alpha with 0 and beta uh, into 1 means alpha times 0 is uh, coming and beta times 1 is coming with alpha square plus beta square is equal to 1. This is the equation you need to write. Okay, and you qubit can be any point on the block sphere. Okay. So block sphere allows any state of the qubit to be represented and uh, by using the theta and azimuth angle. Uh, Phi. Okay, so here we have the uh, angle, uh, the value here. Psi is equal to cos theta by two e power i phi sine theta by two into one. Okay, this is zero bits uh, representation. This is a one bit representation. So we'll get a point on the sphere. Okay, as you can see here, this is one point on the sphere, right? This point is represented by that equation. This equation. Okay, and this is the ranges given zero to pi and zero to two pi. The pi and theta is uh, in between those ranges cos theta by 2 square plus sin theta by 2 square is equal to 1. That is the uh, thing you need to write for the first question. Okay. Moving on, we have the second question, which is C not gate. Okay. C not means controlled not gate. Okay. It is a typical multi qubit logic gate. In the logic gate, this is a uh, quantum computing logic gate. Okay. And circuit is as follows A will be A to here, and B will be to B, C not A. Okay. And matrix implementation, you will be making a normal uh, matrix, which is one uh, diagonal matrix. Except that here instead of 1 1 you will put 0 0 and here you will put 1 1 okay and transformation can be represented as a comma b is equal to a comma b c not a okay four inputs will be 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 okay and for all of these you have to define 0 1 1 0 okay 0 with 0 0 it is 0 only 1 with 0 1 it is 1 uh, 0 1 only and 1 with 1 0 it will be 1 1 okay it will reverse it and here also it will get reversed 0 with 1 1 will become 1 0 okay so two uh, qubits are there control qubit and target qubit okay so two table is as follows 0 0 will 0 0 0 1 is 0 1 1 0 will become 1 1 1 1 will become 1 0 okay Moving on to the third super important question, we have explained the difference between classical and quantum computing. Okay, in classical computing, it is used for large scale multipurpose computers. Here, it is used for high speed parallel computers based on quantum mechanics. Information is bit uh, based, here it is quantum bit based, okay, based on electron spin, like the up spin or down spin, positive, negative. Information is not an, an OR gate, here it is uh, carried out by quantum logic gates. Here the bits are 0 and 1 to represent information. Here qubits are represented. Okay, it is simultaneously faster to run on the machines. Okay. Operations defined by the Boolean uh, algebra. Here the operations are defined by the Hilbert space and complex elements. Okay, linear algebra over Hilbert space. Here circuit behavior is governed by classical physics. Here it is governed by quantum uh, mechanics. So at least five points you need to remember in this uh, table. Okay. Moving on to the next one question, we have state polymatrix and apply polymatrix on 0 and 1. Okay, we have to apply the polymatrix. Polymatrix is nothing but a set of 2 cross 2 matrix. What it is the size? What is the size is 2 cross 2. It is useful for the study of quantum computation and quantum information. Okay, and uh, polymatrices are given by three values will be there the sigma x, sigma y, and sigma z. So sigma x will be 0, 1, 1, 0. Sigma y will be 0 minus i, i is uh, 0, and z will be. 1 0 0 minus 1. Now we will uh, do the operations of 0 and 1 on all of these. Okay, in this one, this one, this one. So when we do on 0, what we'll get is 
one zero will multiply okay zero means one zero will multiply one means zero one will multiply okay so when you do the matrix uh, multiplication will be getting these two values so zero on this will become one and one on this will become zero okay that is for the x value for the y value also similarly we'll be having an i i uh, i one and minus i zero and for the z one will be having zero will remain zero one will become minus one okay that's the difference Moving on the last one question, we have explained uh, single qubit and multiple qubit along with an example. Okay, so single qubit operates on one input qu uh, qubits. Okay, the Hadamard gate is tu uh, truly a quantum gate and one of the most important in quantum computing. Okay, it has the similar characteristics of the NOT gate. Uh, it has a self inverse gate. Okay, this is the key point. Self inverse gate is there. It is used to create a superposition of zero and one. Okay, and the matrix representation one by root two, one 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 one, one uh, one 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 minus one. Okay. The output states for 0 and 1 input. These two are the inputs. What inputs will give here? 0 and 1. And the outputs will be based on this uh, formula. H plus H is equal to I. Okay. And the circuit diagram is this. The inputs will be 0 and 1. Outputs can be 1 by root 2 into 0 plus 1 by root 2 into 1. 1 by root 2 into 0 minus 1 by root 2 into 1. Okay. And the truth table is also given here for 0 and 1. Okay. And alpha 0 plus beta 1, you will be having alpha into this value, whichever we have written here, plus beta into one value, which we have written here. Okay, we'll be substituting it. And uh, multiple qubit operates on two or more uh, qubits. Okay, the, the, what we discuss is a single qubit. In multiple qubit, what happens? One of them is a controlled uh, qubit and control get A with the operation of kind. If A is true, then do B. So it is a multiple bit if and uh, else condition. Okay, if A qubit is called control qubit and B is called a target qubit. Okay, first A comes, which is control qubit and B is the target qubit. From the control uh, uh, qubit, it goes to the target qubit. Okay, it is altered only when the control qubit is one. Also, this is an important point. If it is one, then only alteration will happen else it will remain unaltered during the transformation okay so basically here we will use control gate okay so you have to write a few keywords about the control gate as well this is the circuit diagram for the control gate okay this is the control gate circuit diagram it is a multi qubit logic gate okay and the uni uh, matrix representation is as follows 1 1 and here 0 0 followed by 1 1 here the transformation will be a comma b will be a comma b c not uh, a c not means control not gate okay that was about the module uh, 3 of physics and uh, please do like and subscribe it helps make more just like this don't miss any of these questions and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one